Hello everybody and welcome to my tutorial on how to use OctoSniff on any Mac OS. The first thing you're going to need is a virtual machine. You can use Bootcamp VirtualBox, but for simplicity's sake I would recommend Parallels. It's the one I'm using in this tutorial and I can't recommend it enough. It's very simplistic and easy to use. The link to this will be in the description below. After going to the link, scroll down a little bit until you see the button that says Download Free Trial. Go to your Finder, Applications, and then look for Parallels Desktop. After opening it, you should be greeted with a nice, fresh, clean Windows interface. Sorry, I already had two things open. So, the first thing you're going to want to do is open up your Microsoft Edge and make your way to octosniff.net slash beta. Um, after logging in, you're going to click the download button on the left. I'm not going to download it as I already have it downloaded, but it's pretty simple. After downloading it, go to your downloads, octosniff. Before following the rest of this tutorial, I would recommend opening the requirements folder, opening all three of these links, and following the instructions they provide. After you've done that, return to the Octosniff folder, open up the other Octosniff folder, and open up octosniff.exe. If it asks for any admin permissions, click yes. And if it does show up as a virus on your computer, this is a virtual machine, it's not a virus anyway, um, just disable the virus or you can add it as an exception. So now, while I'm waiting for this to open, if you are looking for a VPN, um, you know, being DDoS, disconnect is a very real issue. Um, Octo VPN is a VPN designed for gaming, Discord use, and overall it's very easy and simplistic to use. I can't recommend it enough. So now that OctoSniff is open, you're going to go to your network tab and hit scan. So here's where the issue arises. There's only two different addresses, and they're both from Parallels.inc. Why? Technically, in the virtual machine, you're running an Ethernet. The Ethernet is connected to your Max Wi-Fi. So when you're using Octo, you're not scanning the internet connection that your Xbox is on or PS4. You're scanning the, e the imaginary Ethernet connection that this VMware has created. So the solution to that is returning back to your Mac OS and clicking the two top, the two red bars in the top of the top, top of any window. After clicking those, go to the configure and it will open you up on this general page. At the top there will be five sections. Go to the third one labeled hardware and make your way to networks. It's on the tab to the left. Your source should say shared network or something like that. Click that and hit Wi-Fi. After doing that, close and go back to your virtual machine. Close out of OctoSniff, reopen it, and if it does run slightly slower than you're used to on your Mac, um, it's because it is a virtual machine and your Mac is running two computers at once. So it puts a strain on your Mac. Nothing to worry about. It's not going to cause any long-term damage, but just you have to be patient with it. it. It takes a minute. So once it starts to load up, you're going to go back to your network tab and hit scan again. Now you will see a plethora of different IP addresses. Go back to your Octo folder. Click the wireless tutorial text or YouTube, whether your whatever your preference is, and follow the rest of the directions there. Um, if you have any comments, questions, or concerns, please leave them in the comment section below, and I will try my best to get back to you with a reply. Peace.